What's going on guys? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are working on the F80. We are bringing in a lot of nice mods. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. Oh, I can't let them take my soul. Nah, 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 no. See, we was cool right before I hit your fist. But he hit the fan when I got him down and pinched. But I took a break, I had to leave and go get cleansed. God forgive me for all my sins. I can't say these. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a lot of cool things to this F80. So I don't know if you guys know, but this car is missing heads up display. It does have heated seats. It doesn't have heads up display. And it doesn't even have a backup camera, which was really important to me. I just cannot believe a car like this at this price range does not have a standard backup camera. So yeah, I guess that is what it is. We are heading to LA next week. So that's why you guys can see the fresh new tires. Obviously I'm using it for the track as well, but I also wanted to get some fresh new tires on a long trip. I also wanted to get Apple CarPlay because in every long trip, it's super nice to have everything on your main screen. Obviously if you guys have the newer F80s, you guys have Apple CarPlay or you have like the thing where you can mirror your phone, all that good stuff. But mine does not, so I had to upgrade that. So we have Apple CarPlay here. We have a brand new backup camera that actually uh, replaces the button as well. So new button, new backup camera. This is all gonna be working together. It's gonna be almost like OEM, so that's gonna be super nice. It's gonna make the trip super enjoyable. And at the same time, I was like, you know what? This is a Keys Motorsports video because I've pretty much got everything here from Keys Motorsports. So I wanted to pretty much make this all together. We got some M buttons, the M1 button and the M2 button. I think they said something like this, which looks super dope. So we got these two buttons from Keys Motorsports. We actually got some carbon fiber side skirts. I'm still trying to place an order on a diffuser, but the diffusers are currently back ordered, so I'm still waiting to get a diffuser for this car. We did get some side skirts. We're going to be installing this towards the end of the video, primarily my main goal, so just in case we don't have time for these, but I'm going to try to get it in this video, but if we don't have time for these today, uh, the goal is to at least get a backup camera and Apple CarPlay installed. That is essential, um, and uh, yeah, after that, we can try to get the buttons in there, and after that, we can go ahead and install these side skirts before our trip, because we're going down to LA. I want to take some sick photos while we're down there, and if be super nice to have a carbon fiber side skirt. We have a carbon fiber look, carbon fiber spoiler, carbon fiber mirror cast, carbon fiber side skirt looks super nice. And then obviously we need to get a diffuser. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the install. So I don't know if you guys know, but I've actually done an install video on the M4 and it's pretty much identical to this car. So in this video, guys, it's gonna be cinematic mode, time-lapse mode, it's gonna get everything done. And then obviously just have some nice chillax music. So I hope you guys enjoy the time-lapse. Guys, actually having a base model M3 is actually really nice because this actually fits so easily right underneath it. Typically, I actually don't have room for this to be right here because the module is like this big and this I have to put it somewhere on the side. But this car, talk about easiness. I'm super happy about that. So now in our situation, um, I actually routed all these wires down here so I could deal with it later. Um, so this is the antenna cable. That's the USB I've sticking out right there. Don't worry, it's gonna look a lot neater. You shouldn't be able to see any of this besides that USB in the end. Uh, but this is the camera wire. Let's go ahead and just connect the camera wire and just make sure when I put the car in reverse, does it show, does it actually work? So if it works, uh, we can just go ahead and just start working on this. If it doesn't work, we need to take all that back apart. I already assembled everything because I just have confidence <laughs> that I've already done this a couple times and I think I know what I'm doing. But uh, let's go ahead and just plug in the camera real quick and just double check. So for those of you guys who are wondering how the camera looks, it's basically an OEM mount. Basically, I removed the giant door handle and then I put in this. Actually, no, I think this is I think this is exactly like OEM. Yeah, this is exactly like OEM, which is super nice. And then this actually plugs into that cable down there. So let me go ahead and plug that 
turn on the car, put it in reverse if anything shows up over here. All right, guys, I got the backup camera right here. Let's go ahead and throw it in reverse. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and just turn on the car. I don't know if I have to turn it on all the way, but as long as the screen works, please. Okay, we're in business there. I heard, I heard music. If we hold the menu button, Yup, MMI Prime is working, guys. So MMI Prime is working. I heard audio, which means all of our fiber optics and everything is good. And uh, everything seems to be working just fine. Yup, all righty. <laughs> so that is awesome. So yeah, the next thing is, uh, let's go ahead and just get out of MMI Prime and uh, just throw it in reverse. So I guess, do I need to? Yes, <laughs> we finally have a backup camera, guys. Oh my God, hold on, does it actually work like no way, does that actually have the lines as well? That'd be so sick. I guess the only way to test that out, oh my God, look how sick that is. Finally, guys, this car does have a backup camera, it finally does. I mean, our backup camera's right here, which is a little odd, but let's go ahead and throw it in the trunk. Now, obviously, it's gonna be a little bit of a process. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually just route the wire against uh, pretty much the sidewalls and then right behind the seat. I think that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'll show you guys how I do it, uh, just because this, I didn't actually do on the M4, and uh, yeah, I'm sure some of you guys are probably gonna wonder how you put in a, a backup camera, because that's kind of cool. But yeah, guys, pretty easy stuff. Let me go ahead and just fully assemble this real quick because we are done here and I want this to just look aesthetically pleasing and then we'll go ahead and start working on that bad boy at this point guys we have the USB cable right there uh, just this one little wire there that I'm gonna go ahead and tuck in but other than that the only other thing you can see there is the Bluetooth adapter which I just again tucked it in from up here you guys can't see anything at all little just the USB port and then the wire I tucked in it underneath there and I'm gonna keep tucking it right underneath the seam because this is the easiest way to just keep tucking the wire underneath this Keep going underneath here, and then we can go ahead and lift up the seat and tuck it underneath this and get it straight into the trunk. That's gonna make life so much easier. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do instead of taking all this stuff apart. And uh, honestly, there's no need for all that. You can, all you have to do is just tuck it underneath this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just keep moving that wire to the back. Hopefully it has enough length. I'm assuming they did all the measurements, so I think we have enough length. So yeah guys, as for the button, you pretty much just wanna get some kind of flathead in there. Make sure you use a, a rag as well so you don't mess up your paint. But use a flathead, use a rag, and then pop it out. This is how the original one looks, and this is how the upgraded one looks. So uh, this is actually how a factory one should be when you get it. So the camera is supposed to be right here. This one didn't come with the camera, so now, this is how the new one looks. I'm gonna go ahead and peel up that as well once we get it installed. But uh, yeah, I mean, we just pretty much slide that in there, and then we should be good to go. backup camera everything's working the way it's supposed to be i am so 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 ecstatic i'm so 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 happy god bless i mean this is again like this is probably my favorite mod in every single car and never gets sold literally every time i like i sold the i8 it had it when i sold um i mean, actually when i totaled the m4 it had it this is probably the, my favorite 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 mod in any car i really wanted to get it on the 435 and i kind of like did everything air suspension everything but i never actually did that because yeah it's kind of a heavy price tag i think it'll go for like 600 dollars if you guys use my code that you will get a discount but guys for six hundred dollars it is so 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 nice you can mirror your phone onto it you can watch movies on it you can literally use your apple maps so when you're using your navigation you have to keep checking your phone it actually is on this screen 24 7 which is super nice which is actually the main reason i'm getting it because we're heading off to la to get the crank up done on this car because i don't know if you guys know if you guys follow me on instagram you guys probably should i booked my first track day in this car so i'm super excited for it that means we should probably get the crank up done and i'm actually gonna probably get some downpipes while i'm down there at la so yeah future videos to come it's gonna be pretty exciting
exciting. So stay tuned. But yeah, I really wanted this to get installed. And I also in LA, um, obviously, I, I don't want to have any issues like the last time. The last time I went down to LA in the M4, obviously, you guys know the story with that. And uh, yeah, I had to stay a couple extra nights getting everything sorted with the police, been through the insurance. It was an absolute hassle. So if I can avoid a little accident just by having a backup camera, and I've always wanted a backup camera because I love reverse parking. It was a must for the add-on feature. I don't know if you guys know, but if you're trying to do a retrofit, if you guys don't have backup camera, you try to do a backup camera by the like the OEM style, it is gonna probably cost you more than to do it with the MMI Prime. And at the same time, you can have Apple CarPlay. And uh, yeah, this package deals from Keys Motorsports. The link's gonna be down below. I absolutely love it. But yeah, guys, I guess the next thing is uh, the next mod. The next mod, guys, I really want to get a steering wheel. I love this steering wheel a lot, but at the same time, you know, Oz has got the best steering wheels ever. I'm still saving up to get one of those right now. Probably actually when I sell the i8, I'll probably get a steering wheel on this. But in the meantime, I did get a little mod from Keys Motorsports that replaces this and this with some M buttons. I do think that's going to look absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, I never actually done it on this car replacing the M buttons, but let's go ahead and add some M buttons. First things first, I probably should disconnect the battery. Love it how you wind up. For me, tonight is all on me. My shop, the place for me. Yeah, yeah. She just want a high life. Ooh, we, that body talk to me. I need a taste, baby. Loving the way, loving the way you move around me. No more delay. No, you can't wait to shut it down. Won't you show me how you work it? I can't find no flaws, you perfect Cause every time that you come around my way I keep falling, falling again I keep falling, falling again and every time that you go and just like that guys we got the m1 and the m2 button installed uh previously nick installed the red push button start so we don't even need to uh install that thankfully but yeah it was very easy stuff there's a lot of dedicated videos on how to install on youtube like full diy videos i figured it's not a super hard install might as well just do it quickly and uh yeah so far so good super happy with that we didn't need to do that before the trip but you know i felt like why not you know so the next thing on our to-do list is these carbon fiber side skirts so yeah we got some carbon fiber side skirt extensions the ones that actually wanted which has a little bit more like edges and like girth to it unfortunately those were sold out so i went with these ones they're actually still pretty nice i'm wondering how they're gonna look exactly so let's go ahead and slap it on and uh see the transformation the way that you move wanna connect with you like bluetooth no touching that's my boo boo your love they do me voodoo she's my new boo i'm watching her like you too i wanna ride like choo choo yeah, love to do me cuckoo. Hey, yeah. Loving the way, loving the way you move around me. The body don't wait, the body don't wait to shut it down. Won't you show me how you work it? I can find no flaws, you perfect. Cause every time that you come around my way, I keep falling, falling again.
end of the video, guys. We're gonna be heading off to LA pretty, pretty quickly, so I'm sorry if the next video might be a little bit delayed, mainly because we are packing our stuff, we're heading to LA, we're getting so much things done to uh, the, F the F80, I mean. What's crazy is I was originally gonna go there for one thing, which was the Crank Hub, and then we're actually gonna add another mod, and then we're actually gonna add another mod at SSR Performance. I'm super excited for it, we're going out there for like an entire week, so I decided, you know what, might as well do a bunch of modifications while we're down there. See, so, yeah, I'm super hyped for it, shout out to SSR, I'm super excited to go down there. I actually love going down to the shop. They're full of amazing people. I love them so much. And they do absolutely amazing work. It literally makes you feel like literally I took my car to BMW. Like that's how good their work is. And on top of that, I love how organized they are. They give you proper documents. It literally feels like I, as if I got the car done at BMW. But BMW doesn't do modifications, so SSR does. So I guess in a sense, they're better. But yeah, guys, I will have to conclude this video. Apple CarPlay was an absolute must. The back of camera was an absolute must. If you guys like those things, make sure to check out the link down below. Use my code NOR5 at Keys Motorsports. If you guys like the carbon fiber side scoop, which actually ended up looking a lot better once I actually put it on the car, I was kind of like, hmm, I don't know if he's going to look good. As soon as I slapped them on, I was like, wow, these look pretty awesome for the money. So if you guys want those carbon fiber side skirts, make sure to check out that link down below. And without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.